Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and this is the fourth video in my end of September closeout. For my September closeout, I'm posting five videos in five days and we're on day four. If you missed the first three videos, you can check them out. I will link my last one up above where I stuffed almost $800 of my side hustle income into my envelopes. So at the end of the month, what I like to do is go through and count up my envelopes and just see how much I saved or spent for the month. And that also helps me prepare for my closeout budget video, which I'm going to post tomorrow. So stick around if you want to see all of my net worth updates, my debt payoff updates, all of that good jazz. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But today we are going to go through, take out all the cash, count it up. So that is what is in store for you today, and I hope you'll stick around and watch it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, definitely click that down below. Give this video a like if you enjoy it, and leave me a comment. I love to chat with y'all down in the comments. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. So we're starting today with my cash envelopes, and that is what we are going to start um, counting up. So my first envelope is adventures, and we have just $5 in here. And spoiler alert, there's going to be a lot of just five dollars. Um, if you watched my last um, my last cash stuffing video, you know. So that was an increase of five dollars, though. So that's great news. <laughs> Clothing also just has five dollars, so we'll just leave that in there. And let's see what that change was. We started with thirty-one dollars, and now we have five, so that was a decrease of twenty-six. Next up is Colin, my boyfriend, which is kind of like a date night envelope, and that has five. It had zero going into the month, so that is good. Electronics, we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. So that went up also. I'm doing better than I thought I would, so that's good. So let's see. We're ending at 90. We started at 61, so that's an increase of $29. Maybe I should just leave my calculator up here. There's room for everyone. Entertainment has $5 to end the month and we had nothing to start, so that increased by $5. Fitness and wellness has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So we're ending with 40. So that increased by what? 29? Yeah. So $29 in there. Gas has 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So we were able to go up by $3, which this is not one I'm like aiming to save money in. It's like meant to be spent every month, but we'll take a savings. Gifts has just $5, and that was also an increase of five. Household has 10, so that was an increase of 10. And then in my envelope, this has 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69, but I owe this money to myself for some spending I did this past weekend, so we are going to call this $0. So that was a change of zero. In medical, we have one, two, 300, 350, and 351. So we only went down by $5, which was one of my prescriptions that I paid for. Self-care has 50, 70, 91, but I am spending this money tomorrow, but I don't know how much it'll be, so let's just say it went up by 50, but it'll be to zero by, not zero, but it'll decrease by tomorrow. And then shopping, we just have $5, so it went down by $1. So let's add up what we started with and see what that number was. So we started with 513 and we ended with, we ended with 642. So we had an increase of $129. So that's great. Good job, me. I'm actually really shocked because I feel like I spent so much money in September, but oh well. I was wrong. 
I love being wrong when I save money. I'd rather save more than spend more. Why did I put this away? Okay, next up are my sinking funds and we'll start with my yellow sinking funds binder. Inside of birthdays, we will pull this out and we'll zoom in because we've got to write small. So we ended with $30 on my dad's birthday, 20 and a 10. For my birthday, we ended with 20 and 40. My brother's birthday, we ended with 20 and 30. And my mom's birthday, we're ending with $25. So in total in birthdays, we have 30 plus 40 plus 30 plus 25. So we're ending with 95. Is that right? No, it should be 125. What did I do? 30 plus 40 plus 30 plus 25. What, what did I do? Oops, no, go back. So 125. So we increase that by $25. I don't know what I did there. Next up is holidays. So that is for Black Friday and my anniversary. And in Black Friday, we ended with $120. I'll we'll zoom in on this one too. And then in my anniversary, we ended with 20, 40, 50. So that is 170. And we started with 115. So that means we increased this one by $55, which is good. Now we will stay zoomed out for the rest of them. And soon I will be adding a New Year's Eve holiday tab because that will be the next holiday I'm saving for. Planner has 2035. So that we added $9 to, is that right? Yep, $9 added to Planner. Subscriptions. Let's see what that is at. We have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So that only went up by $7. Slow and steady. Vacation is the saddest one because it got depleted this month. I don't even need to take it out because I know it's just $20. We started with $105. So we went down by $85, which is because I went to DC without budgeting for it, but life happens. So volleyball has 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. And that is because I had a registration due. So we went down by oops, $32 which is pretty good seeing as how my registrations are like 70 something dollars. Weddings and babies has 10, 15, 16, 17. And that went down because I bought a baby shower gift for one of my friends. So we added, or we went down by $19 here. And I did spend 40, so could have been worse. And then my one week ahead fund, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, and 95. So that went up by $30, which is good. And we won't spend that until November. So that is it for my yellow binder. Now we will flip over to big blue, the crowd favorite. Move my calculator because she's a little bit larger. And now we will start with car maintenance. We're gonna do the subcategories first, and then we'll add it all up for the main category. So oil changes, we have $40 in oil changes, and that's because I spent $60 at my oil change. So that went down by $60, which is to be expected. My deductible still has $100, $250 in it because I did not get in an accident, so that's great. So that did not change at all. And then my car emergency fund 
has 100, 120, and 140. So that went up by $40. And there is nothing in my car tags category. So let's add up what we have. We have 60, or no, we have 40 in oil changes, 250 in deductible, and 140 in emergency. So we are at 430 total. So we went down by $20 which makes sense because it was an oil change month. On to Christmas. In Christmas, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, and $60. So that was an increase of $60. And the goal is 600, so we are getting closer, which is great because it is almost Christmas season. And I'd love to have this saved by the end of November, just so I have the whole month of December to shop. My friend's wedding, I'm not going to pull it out, but we did spend $180 out of this. So we have $470 in there now. So that means it went down by $180. I can't write this. Okay, I'm going to. Next up is my Texas trip savings. And we are definitely going to need our calculator for this one. Inside stay for lodging, we have 100, 200, 250, 260. So that is good. Inside of travel for transportation, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 460, 465. Inside of food and drink, we have $500 in the bank. And inside of fun, we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, and 390. So in total for my Texas trip, we have $1,615. And we started with 1270 So that means we saved $345 in the month of September for this trip, which is wild. That is always a really satisfying one to find out the difference for. Oh man, I forgot about the subcategories. These stayed the same. This was at 500. And what was that at? 390. So let's see, food and drink went up by 205. And fun went up by 140. And then last, but certainly not least, is student loans. I'm saving up to pay off my student loans from my grad school degree. And we have 500, 600, 620, and 640. Is that right? So that means we put, yeah, that is right. We put $250 towards my student loans this month. That is good. So that is it for counting my sinking funds for the month of September. Pretty short and sweet, but this helps me as I go to close out my September budget. I'll use these numbers. Oh, I didn't add them up, Kristen. Let's add them up. So let's see what we started with. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. You're probably yelling at me in the in the screen. So we started with $3,696, and let's see what we ended the month with. So we are ending the month with $4,141, which is a difference of $445 increase for the month, which is a lot. But that makes sense in my sinking funds to save more than my cash envelopes because these are meant to be saved and these are meant to be spent. And obviously eventually my sinking funds are meant to be spent, just not on like a daily basis in the same way that my cash envelopes are. So that is it for today's video. The last video of my September closeout will be my actual closeout video where I go through and show y'all um, an update on my debt payoff, on my net worth, 
and then we'll look at my spending from the month as well as compare it to last month's spending and give you a final update on debt versus savings. So we will have all of that in my next video tomorrow. So I hope you'll check that one out. Also comment down below if you know, if you have any guesses to what savings challenge I'm going to be doing in the month of October, because I would love to hear what your thoughts are on what I'm going to be doing. Lots of fun things coming in October. So I hope you'll stick around and I will catch you tomorrow in my next video. Bye friends. <laughs>